Hello, we're going to do a quick tutorial on taking a stack of images and turning it into a sprite sheet. Um, we're going to be using a JSX file uh, from a website and uh, applying it to Photoshop and having Photoshop do the work for us. Uh, first, we're going to take a look at the uh, JSX file that you can put into your scripts folder under your presets in Photoshop if you're on a Mac. Uh, here is the JSX file. As you can see, this is going to be the um, the columns that's going to be formed, and it's going to be on five is just the default that you have. You can change this to any number. Uh, the example on the website, if you go to Garage Games Blogs, you can also see this on my post. Uh, you're going to take a stack, and then it's going to kick out five across, and then it automatically, dynamically will create the rows for you. So you can come here and grab this script, put it into a text file, and save it out as a JSX, and you should be good to go. Uh, so with that said, let's go into Photoshop. Here we're going to have our stack of images, just the character sprites, uh, sprites that I found on uh, Google Images. Uh, the first thing is I highlighted all of them, I'm going to align them. Uh, by clicking the center and then align them to the bottom so that the character is now here. Now, uh, the purpose of doing a sprite sheet is so that you can have everything uh, aligned height and width wise perfectly and then it's going to kick it out into a sequence so that uh, programmers can grab the pixel data dynamically. So we're going to uh, change the canvas size here uh, you can see right now it's 30 by 41. We want to make this as even as possible. Let's just take an arbitrary number and take 30 by 30. Hit OK. And we're going to proceed. And we're going to crop that down to that. And it looks like we can even go a little bit farther. Let's just test this out. Canvas size 25 by 25. Hit OK. Proceed. And that's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to see where we're at here and uh, yeah 25 by 25 uh, looks pretty good we're gonna take our stack of images and we're gonna run our script to make a sprite sheet but also take note that in the scripts folder there is this cool load files into stack which if you already have a sequence of pings you can actually browse find your pictures, open them, and you'll have a list of all this, uh, your files. And you can go back in and grab as many folders and files as you want. And you hit OK, and you'll end up with all of your files stacked on top of one another, and the file names will be preserved, which is pretty cool. So that's a pretty uh, cool script that's already in Photoshop. But once you have your stack, we have all our images are selected. I'm gonna go to File, Scripts, Layers to Sprite, it's going to do its thing and sure enough it retains all the names uh, I just had generic layer names but now you know you have control of every single little guy here and it's all separated out at 25 by 25 pretty killer so there you have it that's just the real basic uh, intro to a sprite sheet um, with a stack of images 